So the Mizuno Tour truck has finally arrived here at AF's Golf Store Cambridge and we are about to head inside to see what happens when this thing rolls out on tour. So we're inside the truck and we're here with Joe Beck, Senior Tour Rep for Mizuno. Thanks for joining us, Joe. Um, you're gonna give us a little tour around this fantastic facility. So you work out on tour yep. how many weeks a year? 20 to 22, 23. And you're going around all around Europe, European tour? Yeah, mainland Europe. Okay, so this truck services all your Mizuno players, yep. irons, woods. Show us around, what have you got in here to help those golfers out on tour? So, most important machine, kind of week to week, is loft fly, making sure they're dialed in, and our gripping station on the back left. So between those two, <coughs> they're probably your most popular machines week to week. Actually, we've got... Do you see a lot of players change lie angles week to week? Not really. It's Just more, checking. more keeping on top of them, yeah, making sure they are correct to what they've, they've been spec'd up to. And is that something with Mizuno being such a forged product and a premium product that is so soft it can move depending on terrains and grounds that they're playing off? Yeah, definitely. The amount of balls guys hit as well, you need yeah. to be keeping on top of that kind of week to week. Okay, so we've got loft and line machine. Loft and line, yeah. Well, we, we've got some big chunky machines down here. Do what are these doing? It all kind of makes sense. It flows through. So you've got your shaft measuring, shaft cutting, you've got our tip grinders and our sort of grinding machine at the end into the big shaft track that everyone likes to see is quite so a lot of kit. Grinding machine? Yeah. What are we doing on the grinding machine? Majority is tip grinding, so we're sort of sanding that down so that the glue sticks properly. We can grind heads on the bottom as well. Uh, okay. But majority of it is. And is that tip is that players on wedges typically if you're grinding yeah. heads? Is that changing bounces and, yeah, and heel and toe relief? So majority is kind of lob wedges taking a bit out of the heels. So when they open it up, it looks. Do you find players change that quite regularly, or, or ch variation, or is it something they like the lie or the look of? Or once once guys find something they like the look of, we tend to stick. You're with trying that. to match it in. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it. shaft wall there is yeah. pretty impressive for you to carry in a truck. Yeah. Um, Lots going in there. Is there anything that's particularly popular at the moment? The Ventus, as always, has been popular for the last six, seven years. There's obviously the new Ventus Blue coming, so yeah. that'll be interesting to see that. And that's in driver specifically? Yeah, drivers. Most, what's Wood's. the most popular iron shaft out there on tour? It's a toss up between Project X and Dynamic Gold. So old Still. school, just uh, yeah. old school Dynamic Gold as well. Yeah, so yeah, original, right. heavy, yeah. Really? Is that just purely fact strong players hitting it hard? Yeah, one it's control. A, a speed thing. You look at the guys out there, they're more athletes now than anything yes. else. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they want something heavy and, and yeah. hard and firm. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. There's the shaft wall. You can see there's some mega equipment in it. And what have we got in these drawers? I see down here that you've got yeah. some um, lots of grips. Is there any particular grips that players are working with or um, using, yeah. should I say, rather than working it with? It varies. On a player to play, you've got pretty much everything you need. Luke's grips are probably the, the most different on here. Luke's and Keith's. So you've got Luke's multi compound blue black rather than black blue, and you've got Keith's victory grips. So, wow, so that is a real old school old victory. School. I mean, I remember them being £2.99 back in the day, right? And he yeah. still uses them. Still going, yeah. So they must be hard to get, surely. Yes, they're specifically made for for a few guys in Europe. So these are your these are your players that these are your two kind of standout yes. hero players, if you like. Yeah. And they have their own drawers. Yes. On the truck, so own yeah. drawers for grip, own drawers for heads as well. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. So the heads we have in drawers by the side here, with wedges on the other side as well. What we say to everyone: the heads that you get here, the same that the guys get through retail. Yeah, in the factory, so there's no exactly. different heads. So no different than the stuff that we would receive in our build centre exactly. week to week. Exactly. Is there, has, this year obviously you've had the release of the new 241, 243, yeah. 245. Yeah. Um, what has been, the, have you seen any players sort of switch or not go into the product or what, who's, you know, is there a lot yeah. of movement into 241, a lot of combo sets, what's been happening on tour? Yeah, I think when you're looking at something like a blade, a blade is a blade at the end of the day. It's yeah. not gonna be that hard to get the guys into the new product. It looks a little better, it's a little shorter heel to toe. The finish is the biggest thing, it's more of a brushed kind of matte chrome, so yeah. it doesn't shine up in the sun. Like yeah. um, it's a pretty, pretty seamless transition to the stuff. And is there, do you see a lot of combo going on? Because your product is so lined up for combo. Is it? Yeah. Uh, do you see any players in 2 4 Do, do players yeah. play 2 4 5 in the long iron? Yeah, a lot of more tall guys go 2 4 3 in 4 and 5 iron. Okay. So it's not quite as big a jump in head size. I mean, look at that, look at that. Just come in there, Chris. Look at how good that iron is. 
unbelievable, isn't it? How good that iron is. Yeah, down between that and 245, it's not quite as big a jump. It's a little more of a seamless transition, yeah. but it's, again, down to performance when we test it with the guys back at Betterwood. It's how that uh, works for them. More than and and, and did, how many sets of irons would a, a typical player, or would you have to build for a typical player a year? Would it be one set, would it be two? Probably right? two, two or three tops. And is it normally a backup set, or is it just they've worn the first set out and they just need a new set? Yeah, it's normally just taking the head off, recharging and plugging it on. And wedges, is that a, a bit more regular? Yeah. Wedges is sort of every, every two to three months they're going to get a new. Back, especially log wedges. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because they're practicing a lot with it, they're playing a lot with it, they're messing around with it. What have, in terms of the wood range this year, because the wood range has been slowly, you know, you don't see the Mizuno driver and fairway wood with the marketing that some of the other brands have, have put together. Yeah. However, it is starting to get more brand recognition and, and, and tour recognition. Yes. What have you seen in terms of, of players using and what sort of specs have you seen? So the ST Max obviously came out very recently has been a kind of a surprise package for us anyway. It's a very, very stable head that doesn't look sort of too big at a dress. So I can't find a non-left-handed one. So it is a larger profile. We've got this big back weight as well. So the guys that hit the driver hard, this is kind of the ultimate stability for us. The face doesn't twist. You can go into your whole 10K MOI, those kind of things. But it will, will be ultra stable for you. But a surprise package for us was ST Max. And then STG, you've got kind of the fastest space we offer and the most stable head we offer as well. So, so there's so some really interesting product. And we've obviously got a fitting day here as well while the truck's on site. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how many guys get to play with that because yeah. this, you're going to have, obviously here we've got today, we've got more options available yeah. um, than we normally do, which is great. But I think it'll be interesting to put that up against some of the other brands to see how it performs. Yeah, absolutely. So, Last machine that I do want to talk about, which I think is quite important, is just sitting behind Chris, so let me just bring that back, is the swing weight machine. Yes. So it's something that in build we're very particular with, we yeah. try and match up the swing weights to exactly what they've been tested in the bay. Yeah. How particular do you find players on tour be with swing weight? Varies. Varies okay. player to player, yeah. Some players are very particular, some players as long as they can do what they need to do with it. Obviously, we've got their specs on file, so we're always going to build to the exact same swing weight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it do players notice in terms? Do yeah. players notice when you're changing heads and shafts yeah. and, and how much it can change as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so guys, there you go. There is a tour of the Mizuno tour truck. Big thanks to Joe for showing us. Head over if you've not visited any of our stores. We do fit Mizuno three six five. We build for Mizuno as well. We've got the heads in our build centre, but this place is certainly impressive. What a truck.